You saw how he looked at me. Please calm, Simba. If he knew, we'd be dead already. He's playing the blind man. He's waiting for us to betray ourselves. Exactly. He's not worried about us. He thinks we are cowards. Well, in any case, we must act soon. Today he brings in Gauls and Celts and low plebs. Tomorrow it'll be Belgians or freedmen. He won't rest until he's turned the Senate into a bawdy house. We good noblemen will be outnumbered by foreign rabble. We will be degraded, powerless. We must act soon. What about bloody Lucius Verinus? Lucius Verinus is a son of a whore. No, you know him personally, it seems. I know him. I know him. Who is Lucius Verinus? You remember, Mother, the low soldier that jumped into the arena to save a comrade? I remember something of the sort. Well, Caesar has pandered to the mob and made him a senator. And when Caesar is in the Senate, the dog never leaves his master's side. And a fearsome dog it is. So, if we are to reckon with Caesar on the Senate floor, we must reckon with Lucius Verinus also. Don't kill him as well. What does it matter? He is a popular man. So? I'll kill him. It is most important that we keep the people on our side. We cannot kill one of their heroes. That would sully the whole business. Only the tyrant dies. Kill Caesar in his bed, then. He doesn't sleep with this Quintus. man, does he? Not such a bad thought. We could uh, bribe some of his slaves. Buy off his cook, buy off his taster, poison. Gentlemen, this is not some cheap murder. It is an honorable thing that we do, and it must be done honorably, in daylight, on the Senate floor, with our own hand. With my hand. You're right, of course. Forgive me. Well, that's all very well. But how? How? <laughs>